blood drive in Naperville this Mother's Day weekend in honor of a mom who passed away a few years ago. This weekend in Naperville, there is a big blood drive in honor of Kim Sanford, who died of a rare form of cancer. It's her family's way of honoring her memory and saving lives in the process. And this year marks the fourth annual event, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Hi, I'm Ryan Winnell here with The Leader, and currently we're at the fourth annual A Pine for Kim Blood Drive, which was hosted at Naperville North High School on May 13th. How does it feel to be able to still be able to do this, you know, all this time later? It's just amazing. I've been here for 26 years, and to see the mission and the passion and the drive that happens with all of this community, um, the community members that come out to support Kim's legacy is just part of the to us, and we're just so proud to be a part of it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I just honestly enjoy helping other people, and knowing that I have a healthy blood that can go to people who don't have it is really helpful. And also, they're really nice. They give out free t-shirts. I have a free water bottle. Like, they're just a really nice community, so. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So we are outside here at the Naperville High School, and as you can see, there's a lot going on behind me. There's a live band performing. There's two trucks. Next to me, there's a dunk tank. I hear there's a car show. There's just so much outside here now, and it just really shows how much effort really went in. So I'm here at a pint for Kim in front of the Bay Chicago bus. Um, and I'm here with... Saran Ivey, the Director of Communication and Community Engagement at the Bay Chicago. Awesome. And what do you do at the Bay Chicago? Like, what are some of your roles and responsibilities? <laughs> well, that's funny you say that. Typically, while um, I'm responsible for the communications and community, um, community engagement activities, we do a little bit of everything. And so that means, hey, we need trash picked up, I'm going to get it. We need to grab Jeremy Renner, have those communications with him, I'm going to do it. So really, it's, it's all encompassed, but the uh, big part of it is really getting together activities that we need to engage with the community, uh, making sure we get those communications out, and really just lining things up, making sure everything is in order for the big day. Awesome, and for those who may not know, what is The Bay Chicago, and what TV show were you guys recently featured on? Okay, well, The Bay Chicago, we're a nonprofit organization that's located on the west side of Chicago. Um, we do academic tutoring, we do mentoring, we do sports, we do financial literacy. We really take children from the age of basically about 3 to 18 and engage them in some things they may not have normally been exposed to. Um, for example, we've just recently taken on this little small production that's airing on Disney Plus right now. Uh, it's called Renovations, in which we got with Jeremy Renner and um, actually remodeled the bus here, it's 52 footer that um, has the capabilities of being a mobile music studio. So we have kids that can come out and really get on here, play instruments. We have a demonstration happening out here today, learn sound engineering, uh, all, that, all that type of stuff right now. So if you're looking forward to that episode, you can actually find out how this bus was made on Renovations Disney Plus. Awesome, and what does it mean to be out here at an event like A Pine for Kim? Well, I, I think it really speaks to what we do um, every day, and that's save lives. Um, at the base, we're saving lives through academic tutoring. Um, we are doing financial literacy. We are getting kids on college tours. Uh, we do things that's going to provide um, generational opportunities. And today out here, a pint for Kim, it's one that saves lives in itself. You know, the average pint of blood, blood saves a lot of people. Uh, so this event right here fits in with our mission. We are impacting lives other than our own and that's, that's to our core. So we'll make sure that we have the opportunity to engage and support opportunities such as this today. Hey, I'm here inside the base bus with the founder of A Pine for Kim, and you just want to state your name and what you do here. 
My name is Kristen Benedict, and I am the sister of Kim, who this is in memory of. For those of those who don't know, can you please share Kim's story and the inspiration for this blood drive? Yes. So my sister was diagnosed in 2012 with cancer. So she had an eight year cancer battle and she died in 2020, but about six weeks before she passed away. Um, she realized, and we all realized, how many blood transfusions that she needed. And that is when we re became aware of the fact that the largest amount of donated blood goes to cancer patients. And that was not something that we knew. Like you think of sort of like ER and tragedies, but really um, the main source of donated blood goes to helping cancer patients get through their treatment so they can go into remission and have more time with their family. And so a few weeks before she passed away, she said, you know what, we need to do something. And so she actually created this movement. Um, and we created the first blood drive, um, but unfortunately five days before the blood drive, she passed away. So um, that blood drive became the largest one day, one location blood drive in the state of Illinois. And we've just tried to keep that momentum going. Awesome. And so what was the process like of organizing that initial blood drive? And how has it kind of evolved over the years? Yeah, so the very first year, my cousin Caroline was instrumental because my sister was in hospice and so we were all spending time with her. Um, and we actually, I won't name them, but we called one blood organization and we were like, we want to have a blood drive and we're going to have a few hundred people. And they were like, no, you're not. And so then we called Versity and they believed in us and they made it happen. And we called them every day. They would put 50 spots up and we were like, they're full. Can you add 50 more? Can you add 50 more? Can you add 50 more? And so we had over 500 people show up that first time. Then that was March, 2020. So COVID hit, like a, I mean, it, the world shut down like a week after that blood drive. Um, and we very easily could have shut down too, but luckily someone who had a private airplane hangar came up to us and they were like, look, we want you to keep doing this. And so you can use our private airplane hangar. So for the last two years, we had it in a hangar, which is pretty much the only place you can have a blood drive safely in a global pandemic. Um, but with things lifting, both of her boys are now at Naperville North and pointing here because that's right outside the window. Um, and so they are a freshman and they are a sophomore here. And the school has so generously, as you can see, given us all of the building, all of the parking lots. And um, it's just grown. So last year, going into the blood drive, we had 260 people, I think, signed up. Uh, we walked in this morning with well over 500 people oh, signed wow. up. So it's, it's, it's a big step up, yeah. And did you ever think that the blood drive would get to be as big as it has gotten? Yeah, actually, <laughs> yes. Okay, so if you knew my sister, like she was just one of the most selfless people. She was everybody's cheerleader. She was constantly telling everyone how proud they were, that they could do anything that they wanted. And so knowing her and knowing people would come out for her, um, it's not surprising, but it does still also get overwhelming. So this morning I was doing an interview and I normally am like, I've got my talking points down. And then I just looked around and I saw how many people were here and just, I think I cried on live TV. <laughs> so um, it's still like, yeah, we felt like it was going to be big, but at the same time, it's also very like humbling and this community has been amazing and to see the support and to know like, my main job right now is to be an aunt to my boy, like her boys. And to know there are over 100 freshmen and sophomores, they're not old enough to donate blood, but they're here volunteering because they were like, you know what, we need to do this for Ricky and JD. So I know that there have been similar events to this kind of at Elmhurst University. What's like the main difference between those two events? Yeah, so for like as a pint for Kim, our main job is to spread awareness that the largest use of donated blood goes to cancer patients. And then we have these smaller drives all year round just to keep the blood supply up. Because honestly, in the last two years, there have been times where the Chicago area blood supply was down to less than a day, which means like if you needed to go in for a surgery, they might not have blood for you. Um, so we have these other ones throughout the year. The difference here is this is also, as you can maybe hear, like a party. We've got food trucks, we have bands and the car show and all of these other things. And what we're really trying to do is change the face of what a blood drive looks like. Like it shouldn't be like scary and somber. We're saving literally thousands of lives today. So if there's any reason to throw a party, that's probably like one of the best reasons to throw one. That's good. What do you see for the future of this blood drive? So I know exactly what I see. <laughs> so my youngest nephew is a freshman. And by the time he's a senior, so his senior year, 
we are going for the national record. And so the Guinness Book of World Record, we register with them, we'll sign up with them. Currently the Chargers, the football team in California, holds it. 2,545, I think. And so we're gonna just keep growing here in Naperville for the next few years, but then we're gonna rally the whole city of Chicago in 2026 and bring the national record here. That sounds so awesome, that's so yeah. cool. Yeah. And is there anything else that you wanna add about just the event or just anything you want people to know? Um, no, we're just like, we're so grateful that this community has supported it, but also we have a lot of people reach out and they're like, I can't donate that day. How can I donate and make it count towards the pint for Kim? And my message is always, um, we don't need it to count for us. Like if you go donate blood, you're saving up to three lives. We don't care where that credit goes. Just if you are in Missouri or California or New York, just do it and you're saving somebody's life. Um, we don't have like something on our wall with like, you know, those where people like have the red thing that shows yeah. how like, <laughs> we're not keeping track. Like we just want people to realize how important it is to donate. And so that would be the biggest message is don't worry about if it counts for our record or not, just go out there and do it. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.